on the line with head coach Glenn Holtz with Miami Showcase Stars. Glenn, how are you doing today? I'm great, Coach. How are you? I'm doing fantastic out here at the Elite 7v7, the South Florida Classic with our qualifier. we got some great teams out here today, and we want to get a chance uh, for you, yourself, uh, to promote your team, to promote yourself, and uh, just to give the audience a little bit of background on uh, what you've been doing and the fantastic job uh, that you've provided for these student athletes. So we're going to jump right into it, if you don't mind. we got um, first question on the list. Just give the audience a, an opportunity just to understand the Miami Showcase stars. Uh, let's talk about the team background and uh, maybe how it started. Well, the team started last year. We uh, originally had our first tryout uh, last year. We had about maybe about 60 guys come out to the team last year to try to try out for the team, which we have, you know, we have a team of 24 guys on our team. Um, the Miami Showcase just started uh, – as uh, me and my uh, one of my really close friends, you know, we wanted to start a seven on seven just to get exposure for these young kids out here in South Florida, and uh, be able to travel to different tournaments and uh, be around some uh, recruiting and some scouting. Right. And uh, we just said to ourselves, you know, let's just call it the Miami Showcase so these guys can showcase their talent. There you go. Keep it keep it simple for the audience. I love it. Um, a little bit about your background. You know, you said you, you started the team not too long ago, and, uh, you know, we're always interested. Uh, we deal with a lot of high school coaches. Um, we're, we're around the Broward and Dade County all the time, and, and one of my favorite things is obviously seeing uh, men being able to be a mentor for some student athletes, and, and obviously a lot of them come in because they've played maybe at the collegiate level. They maybe have played at the NFL level, or, you know, they just have a, a an experience uh, – playbook of being around student athletes and just being around the game of football so maybe a little bit of background on yourself and 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 how is it how's it kind of fall in place well a little bit of background with myself you know i'm a i'm a former nfl player uh i went to college i went to the university of kentucky i played in the southeastern conference um and you know i just you know i just look at south florida it's like a hub for just you know talented football players in general um I just said to myself, you know, I just want to bring a little bit more quality to uh, football coaching down here in South Florida. I'm, I coach high school football here. I coach at uh, the university school. Okay. And uh, I'm just here, just, man, just soaking it up and just trying to uh, bring South Florida football, man, exactly where it is. I love it. Now, uh, one of the, the most exciting things uh, for, for us, uh, we come in and, and just the dynamic of 7v7 football. Um, it's it's created a huge buzz, like we were talking about before. You know, three years ago, it, it seemed like it was just you know another flag football game, maybe a practice round during the off season. But it's exploded into this uh, these tournaments, and and these teams are just popping out out of the woodwork. And and one of the most interesting things is uh, the relationships that are established with the players. Now, I've talked with coaches previously, and you're not just a high school coach anymore. Um, you know, you, you guys travel. Um, you're going on road trips. You, you know, we had a, we had a team coming in from Atlanta uh, today, and you know, just the bond that is created. Let's talk a little bit about the relationships that you have with these individual athletes. Uh, the relationship I have with these players, man, is really tight. Uh, we don't have a huge team. It's not a team of 60 guys where you're on high school football. You know, these guys come from different high school teams, and we all got to play together. And that's just my main thing to, you know, just get guys to socialize with guys from different schools and build relationships and build friendships, you know, because we all come from different places. I have guys on my team from all the way up to Broward, you know, down to, you know, down south. Right. So, I mean, these guys, you know, basically come together and uh, try to build a football team of success. Right. What Now, uh, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, they come from different schools. Um, so they end up, believe it or not, playing each other, maybe during the regular season, during high school football. Do they, is there any exactly. tension uh, ever? You know, exactly. I know. Is there any tension on the field sometimes when they're like, hey, man, you know, I'm going to see you out on the regular season field? That's it. That's it, man. These guys get really, really competitive. I mean, even even in practice because it's like, oh, you know, you'll never do that to me. You did it to me last year. This year I'm, I'm here to set you down. You know, it's just really, really competitive, man, and that's all I ask for with these kids, just to keep the competitiveness. Well, let's talk about the team success. You know, on and off the field uh, at HSBN, we're always striving 
uh, for greatness. And every time we put a mic uh, in a student athlete's face, you know, one of the main questions is, hey, what's your GPA? Um, academically, what, what, you know, what's your character like? So I want to give an opportunity to talk about maybe the success of, of the Miami Showcase stars on and off the field. Well, off the field, you know, I try to keep up with these guys' grades as much as possible, man, because, you know, this is an extra curriculum activity that we do. You know, we don't – it's not too much time consuming. So, you know, I hold those guys accountable with their grades. You know, I say, guys, when you get your, your third semester, you know, a report card, guys, I need to, I need to take a look at it. Awesome. You know, those, those are going to hold – those are going to hold the guys accountable of, you know, making good grades so they can continue to play on this team and continue to have sex, uh, have success. Right. And that's the only thing that I ask for is that they, you know, hold it down in the classroom first before they come out here because without books, you will not be able to be able to play football nowhere in college. Amen to that. Amen to that. And, and now um, one of the interesting questions that I have for you is, you know, we talk to a lot of coaches, and uh, especially coming as a high school football coach, there comes a time – when we get into Florida, which isn't like uh, most uh, states in the nation, uh, we have spring football. And we have, you know, from May 1st, it kicks off spring ball, and, and a lot of these guys have football games. You know, around the nation, spring football, is you know, you, you may be just scrimmage against, but it, it's not as tight as it is down here in South Florida. Um, so the 7v7, the circuit as, as a whole, um, what is the, the biggest benefit for these student athletes to, to being a part of, of this circuit here, just, you know, specifically down in South Florida? Well, coach, it gives it, it gives the opportunity. Like you say, you know, there's not a lot of high schools that have spring football. So, I mean, you've got, you got guys playing football year round now. I mean, instead of playing, waiting until, you know, August or July or when they're, when their camp starts, these guys get to play on the seven on seven team and travel and still keep their, you know, com- camaraderie with the quarterback. You know, they keep their, you know, their good teachings and they get to learn right. more football year round. Right. Instead of just waiting to go back with the high school coach. You know, you get to learn different things and you know, I just call I call guys, I say, Man, this is just a little toolbox, you know, whatever you learn, you put a little bit in your toolbox, you put a little bit in your toolbox and you learn and you learn until you have a full toolbox and you use those tools uh, when it comes down to playing football next year with your football team. Right. Now, we know uh, 7v7 teams, you can always expect uh, great talent, uh, great athletes, and, and it's always refreshing uh, as a network because when I put a mic in and then most of the student athletes' faces, they're, uh, you, you can tell they have, um, they have a good confidence. Uh, it's probably the best word I can use. Uh, being a part of a, a team of maybe 24. I mean, there's some of these teams that will get tryouts. You know, 600 kids will come out, and they want to, you know, represent. You know, having a, a name like Miami Show. Uh, I'm sorry, Miami Showcase. You know, you're you're representing. You know, from people from that aren't around here, you're representing the the what we like to call the state of Miami. And uh, right. so there's a lot of kids that want to be a part of it. Let's talk about some of your impact players and maybe your team representatives um, that that we'll be able to see today. Uh, the team, the, one play I'm really excited about is uh, Jakari Harrison. He's been doing really, really well for me. Here's a guy who's coming off uh, 20, 2,400, you know, passing yards this year and 36 touchdowns. Uh, his his right receiver is Benjamin Victor. is probably the number one right receiver down here, if not top five in South Florida from Coconut Creek High School. Uh, he's getting better and better every week, man. He's going through a lot. Uh, I also have another quarterback. It's called Henry Columbi. Uh, he's going into his junior year. He had 1,400 yards, uh, close to uh, 10 touchdowns this year uh, for the university school, which is, you know, on their way trying to build back to what they had before. Uh, another guy who I'm excited about is uh, Alexi Jean Baptiste, who's a, a free safety outside linebacker from Coconut Creek. Uh, he got a couple of offers. You know, he might be committed to Georgia by the end of next week. Uh, we don't know for sure, but it's a lot going on with him. Uh, I got another commit from um, university school, Alfonso Blades, which is Al Blades' son, who's really been coming along and doing really, really good. He's a 2018 kid, and mm-hmm. uh, he's been growing every, every day, every day. And um, these guys are really, really talented. 
uh, Joshua Ali, who's a wide receiver, uh, who has not yet had an offers coming, but he's coming along and doing really, really good. Mm-hmm. He scored six times for me last last week in our uh, in our uh, road to the championship okay. in the uh, Sam Madison seven one seven tournament last week. Uh, so these guys have really been putting in work, man, and I'm just excited to see them showcase their talents on the field. Yeah, and uh, we want to we want to talk about it. What are what are some of the expectations? You know, you had you're coming off a tournament last week, uh, with obviously you know talking about some major success. What are some of your expectations coming into the elite tournament? Uh, competition, man. You know, every week it seems to be more and more competitive, and I just want to hold these guys accountable, man, to just know that. Just compete against the best, you know. You're out here to gain exposure, and you're also out here to gain and work on your tools, okay, and have fun while you're out here. I encourage these guys to have fun all the time. Uh, don't get too frustrated because it's going to be ups and downs, and just keep on going. Now, we know it's a tight-knit community uh, within the 7v7 circuit, so we always want to open up the conversation to say, you know what, you've probably played uh, these teams a couple times, you know, since you've been a part of the circuit. And uh, we always like to hear, you know, Coach, maybe what's what's the biggest rivalry? You know, what's the favorite team uh, to play? Or, or what's, you know, you guys get out there, what, what's the kids' favorite team to maybe play? Oh, the kids get excited about all the teams, man. They, they're just excited to play every every day, man. I, I wouldn't consist of having a rivalry yet. Uh, okay. Like I say, this, this is our second tournament. So we don't. We just we just going out there and playing right now, man. We don't consider anybody having a rivalry. Okay. But the, the kids get excited for every game that they play. Okay, good. And uh, you know, last but never least, we want to know how the athletes. How, how do they get on the team? Uh, wh- what's the process? And maybe an athlete listening right now, and they say, you know what, I want to play for the Miami Showcase. Say that again, Coach. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear you. Um, for uh, the athletes that are tuned in that maybe want to be a part of the Miami Showcase in uh, you know future years to come, uh, kind of tell us about the process of how they can get started, or maybe uh, maybe some contact information. Okay, well, if you got uh, anybody who wants to get on the club Miami Showcase club team, uh, 707 travel team, uh, we usually have tryouts usually the first weekend in February. Uh, usually that first week, right before Valentine's Day. Okay. And uh, it's just going to be a, a, a an annually thing for us. Uh, we do keep a team of 30 guys. We like to keep 30 guys on the team. Some guys we have just practicing with us just so they can be around because sometimes guys usually can't make it to all the tournaments. So we like to keep 30 guys. I have 30 uniforms to give out. Right. So uh, to get in contact with the Miami Showcase, just follow us on Twitter. At uh, Showcase Stars, okay, capital S O W C A S E underscore Stars, capital S T A R Z, Showcase Stars, Miami Showcase Stars. You can get in contact there. You can uh, also call the cell phone three zero five four zero nine four one four six. My name is Coach Holt, and uh, I'm open to talk to anybody who wants to be a part of the Miami Showcase team. Awesome. Well, Coach, we're excited not only to have you on today, but uh, we're excited to see the the talents uh, that you're, you guys are about to show off and the efforts of coming to the Elite 7v7, the South Florida Classic here, 2015, kicking off the, the Florida Qualifier, the first round. We got the Miami Showcase stars, Coach Glenn Holtz, on the line with us, and we got a lot more action coming your way. Stay with us.